AI is both a fascinating and scary development. It can do amazing things, write music and lyrics, tell you what to watch and read next, and even, virtually, bring the dead back from the grave. But AI, like any other disruptive technological discovery of the past, provokes feelings of fearfulness. Will it steal my job? Will it destroy cultural diversity? Will it shape my thoughts? And how are its decisions made? This is only natural. It is human nature to fear what one can neither comprehend nor control. That is why the most pressing problem to be solved in the AI regulatory field appears to be the so-called black box problem. Black box models are tools used by AI to accomplish a task for which either the logic of the decision process is not accessible or it is accessible but not human understandable. In other words, it is a machine taking decisions over humans' lives without human oversight or awareness of the reasons behind those decisions. The problem is not only the lack of transparency, but also possible biases inherited by the black boxes from prejudices and artifacts hidden in the training data used by the obscure machine learning models of the AI systems. Hence the calls from experts to have AI systems whose workings and results are explainable. The worries raised by AI are, to a certain extent, nurtured by science fiction literature and films, maybe because science fiction tends to foresee the future. Think, for example, of Steven Spielberg's Minority Report. There is a scene in which a man walks down an alley inside a shopping center. His eyes are flashed by a multitude of cameras equipped with eye recognition software. Immediately, the shop windows start to show advertising specially tailored to him. Science fiction. Really? It is actually not so far removed from what we already experience in real life today. In this age of the internet, connected TV sets and multiple screens, the possibilities of obtaining the personal data of media users in both legal and illegal ways have multiplied exponentially. Such data is a very important commodity for advertisers, which can be used to provide individually targeted ads on online services and on all sorts of connected devices. Furthermore, personal data can be used as a means to provide a better experience for the user of an online service. One of the biggest fears raised by AI is the replacement of humans by machines. People are increasingly worried that they will lose their jobs to robots. And this uneasiness has reached the audiovisual sector too. There are more and more examples of the creative intervention of AI in script writing and music composition, just to name two aspects. This techno-barbarian invasion into the creative realm is still of relatively low import though, so that the fears of the destruction of creative jobs are most probably unwarranted, at least for the time being. And yet, the issue of the copyrightability of works made by machines has taken academia by storm. The question is quite pertinent. If we agree that machines can create works, can the creating machine be a copyright holder? Or can a person or a company be the copyright holder of a work created by a machine? The answer to these questions will actually depend on the country. AI can also be used against the enemies of creativity to find and remove copyright infringing material on the internet and hunt down pirates and industry leaks. However, depending on how algorithms are programmed, there is always the risk of false positives which can have an impact on the freedom of expression of internet users. In these cases, AI's lack of humanity is precisely one of its biggest drawbacks. Filtering algorithms are extremely efficient in addressing and removing potentially harmful content, but they cannot match humans in making nuanced decisions on complex legal areas. AI can be so creative, it can go way beyond helping in the script writing process. After all, a script is only the beginning of the creative process. 
The story and the ideas in a script have to be translated into images. In most cases, these stories talk about people. People played by actors. AI can not only write the script and play the music, but it can also provide the actors. Or at least turn any actor into the actor you always wish to have in your film. Making him or her younger or older, for instance. And on top of that, AI makes it substantially easier to create digital extras. For this, you just need the relevant hardware and software and the ghost actor. That is, an actor whose face is replaced by that of the more famous one. As you can imagine, these developments, both technological and artistic, raise personality rights issues. These legal issues are regulated by law and then settled by contract. But a contract can be unfair to the party with less bargaining power, like an unknown actor or a dead person. There is also a darker side of this issue, deepfakes. They can be used in different harmful ways. One specific issue of concern raised by the use of AI relates very particularly to the media field, diversity and pluralism. And yet, for those who are old enough to remember the times when TV channels in a given country could be counted on fingers of one hand and newspapers were called papers for a reason, the problem of diversity, at least in quantitative terms, might seem a bit exaggerated. Nowadays there are scores and scores of TV channels and any newspaper on the globe is only one click away. But precisely because the information offering is so overwhelmingly broad, people look for filters. And as mentioned before, filtering is one thing that AI does very well. Video on demand or news services can carry out this news personalization for any internet user based on his or her personal viewing, reading history or other preferences. This has a downside the so-called filter bubbles that occur when algorithms filter out facts and different viewpoints, thereby reinforcing deeply held viewpoints and even prejudices. The existence and effects of such filter bubbles are, however, not something everybody agrees upon. Doubts are also voiced about their direct link with the fragmentation of the public discourse and possible polarization of views. The current challenge for news media and public authorities is to develop journalistic codes of ethics, self-regulatory standards and possibly government regulation to contain the risks of AI for freedom of expression, while enabling AI to contribute to public debate, media pluralism, the free flow of information and other societal goals. There is an important fact to be recalled once again. Computers will be computers stupid machines that only know the difference between a 1 and a 0. As such, the results of their soulless calculation efforts will depend on and or require human intervention and oversight. And very often, human intervention means regulation. As observed before, transparency is the most fundamental principle here, since it serves human needs to make sense of how the systems work and address responsibilities to the right persons. However, we need to accept that unknown risks may be impossible to regulate, at least if the regulation is based on the technology, not on goals. Moreover, regulation of AI should reduce public risk without destroying creativity and innovation and unnecessary obstacles to using data to create well-being and doing good should be removed. Summarizing, the common sense expression, with great power comes great responsibility, fits AI like a glove. AI has enormous potential for doing both good and evil. That is why we find it fascinating and scary at the same time. And while some will tend to worry, others will set the accent on the marvelous things that can be achieved with this groundbreaking technological development. Indeed, a reading of the different contributions published in this report of the European Audiovisual Observatory shows that there is no single vision of how AI should be regulated. Yet, there are certain principles that appear to be, in one way or another, in the minds of all of the authors. If we manage to combine all those goals, AI can be a blessing for humanity in many ways. 
unless, of course, one day Elon Musk's worst nightmares become reality and machines take over the world. But such a dystopian future is not on the horizon. Not yet, at least.